This is Jessica Chinovsky. Today's lesson will be on the third eye chakra, the Agna. So we'll begin by doing a little bit of education. The third eye chakra is known for perception, sight, intuition, wisdom, creativity, um, inspiration. And so when we have blockages or imbalances here, we feel like we might be stuck. We might not be able to get our creative juices flowing. Um, we're not able to see the big picture. Um, let's see. We can reject anything that's spiritual and out of the ordinary. We may have um, too many fantasies, so not enough reality mixed in with that. That's there, therefore the imbalance. Um, but it also can manifest in terms of physically bothering us through headaches, migraines, sinus problems, um, and poor vision are some of the examples. So today's practice, we will focus on um, some yoga poses that will help us balance the agna. And when we get to them, I will tell you what they are for the yoga poses that, and why they can help us balance the chakra. Other than that, though, we'll be doing the regular flow and class pretty much like normal. And I get the music started. Oh, pause if you might need tissues because we will be doing alternate nostril breathing towards the end of the class. And that is one of the pranayama practices or the yoga practices to really not only help us with breathing, but that is specifically will help us balance the right and left hemispheres of the brain, which can help balance the third eye chakra. So without further ado, get the music started and we'll sit and fade it in <clears throat> tone, our mindful listening, just to give ourselves a little space before starting. And attention right to your third eye chakra. Let's inhale. Let's imagine that all the creativity and all the wisdom are coming into this headspace as we breathe in. Inhale. We're receiving information. Exhale. We're letting go of negative thoughts. Negative illusions. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Inhale, arms go above the head. Palms come together and exhale. Hands go heart center. You can bow your head if you wish. Inhale, lengthen, stretch and reach. Exhale. And again, inhale, lengthen, stretch and reach. Exhale. Hands go wide feet. Really let your spine go long. Exhale, left hand and right knee, right hand behind the body, inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Inhale, grow taller, exhale, go deeper. And again. Inhale, arms in a wide V, exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Grow taller and go deeper. And hands on your knees. Let's do sippy guides. So coming around. 
forward and we're squeezing out. Let's repeat a couple more times. Beautiful. Just noticing the back starting to warm up. Ah, let's go the other way. Beautiful. Bring that chin to the chest. Exhale. Back of the head behind you. Open the throat. Bring it to neutral. Left ear to left shoulder. And up right ear to right shoulder. Neutral. Let's repeat that. Forward. Backward. Right. Bringing the chin to the chest, slow neck rolls going to the right. And right, just gently notice your neck. Try to work out any tension, stress, fear, worry. Breathe and relax. This is a beautiful part of the practice. Pause going the other way where you're just starting to warm up. You're just becoming connected with your body through your breath. Enjoy. Stay on. When you're ready, stop. Beautiful. Let's sit in Vindasana, staff pose. Legs out front. Hands pushing into the floor, opening the chest, pulling the toes back and lengthening the legs, the lower legs especially. Stretch up. Forward folds are great for the third eye chakra. We are changing our perception here, so we're looking in a different direction. Breathe. Just notice this is pretty early in class, so you might not be very far by the end of class. We hope to maybe improve our flexibility because we'll be a little bit warmer. So just be mindful, where are you here in the beginning of practice? Exhale up. Let's do a side stretch to the right, right from here. Breathe. Exhale up, side stretch to the left. And over. Just noticing. Coming onto hands and knees. That old psyche, that cow, bad cat. So starting with cow, that's our inhale. High knee goes back, belly drops to the floor, chest forward, heart center forward, and then exhale, bad cat. Warming up the spine. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Give it two more. Inhale, cow. Exhale, catch. And last one. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Let's bring the right leg behind us. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to challenge our balance a little bit and our core strength. We're going to lower, bring the knee in, out, and up. Lower, in, out, and up. Good. Squeeze the booty the whole time. In, out, and up. One more. Lower, in, out, and up. Allow the Right hand to rise for balancing cat or reach. Five crunches here. In and out. Squeeze and release. Lengthen the spine. Look out past the middle finger, the longest finger. Two more. Last one. Good. We're going to just rock ourselves back into a lunge position. So we're going to come out as much like pigeon, but the knee is in the same exact angle. Allow the forehead to rest. 
Exhale, coming up, moving back through all fours. Other side. So we've got the left leg lifted, squeeze the booty, lower the elbows, pull the knee in, release, come up. One, two, three, and up. Three more. Squeeze. It's a little bit of a sequence. A little bit of almost like a little dance. One more. Squeezing the booty. It should be start to be feel activated now because it's, you've been holding it up there for quite a while. Five of these. And exhale, reach. Crunch. And reach. Good. Couple more. And the last one. And bring it down. Moving into dolphin. So we got our forearms down. We're into a modified plank. Squeeze up center of us. Hold it here for a second. Breathe. Push your shoulders away from the ears. This pose is too difficult. Rest your knees down. All right. Inhale, hand goes back. Exhale, come forward. Hold and breathe. Inhale, hand goes back. Exhale, forward to the modified plank. Let's try for three more. Inhale. Exhale. Good, you got this. We're doing great. Inhale. So, one more time. Inhale. Exhale. Lower all the way down. Hands stay right where they are for Sphinx. So the shoulders are right above the elbows. Inhale. Exhale. Shoulders push back and down, opening the throat, squeezing the legs. Let's bring our heels to our high knee, just to notice. Exhale down. Let's squeeze them in again, holding. Exhale down. And one more, inhale. Exhale down. Beautiful, bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale, tuck your toes under. Exhale, push the plank, breathe. Hold your plank. Push yourself into downward facing dog. Again, changing perception. When we change perception, it helps us see the world in different ways, which can help with that creativity, which also inspires our third eye chakra. Coming down into child's pose. This is a great one. So Velasco child's pose is a great one for the third eye chakra. We're intentionally putting pressure on that third eye chakra, which can stimulate it, make it feel grounded, make it feel like it's connected to the earth. Helping balance. And the balance here is that reality versus that creativity part and imagination part. We need both in this posture. Coming up on your knees, let's take our right foot forward, branch and ask the low lunge, to the arms up, arching back. Exhale, half slip. Pointing your toes and reaching forward just as far as you can. Don't worry about how far that is. <laughs> Exhale, come up, push the plank. Super strong on plank, and nobody can break you. All right, let's do mountain climbers here. So take up a little bit with cardio. Push. If this is too much, you can tap. Or you can do one knee at a time a few times, and then the other knee. So there's lots of choices. Let's just do a few more rounds here. 
Come on. Pause and plank. Knee comes down. Other side. Left foot forward. Low lunge. Push hips forward. Exhale. Moving back through, pointing the toe this time, reaching forward as far as you can in your half split. From here, pushing into your plank. Breathe. This time we're going to bring the knees to the outside of the elbow. So here, here. Squeeze the abs. Keep going. If this is difficult, you can be here for four, then switching. Let's do a few more. Breathe. Two more. One more on each side. Come on, you got this. Squeezing the abs. Downward facing dog. Lengthening those legs. Connecting with your breath. Coming back to your plank. To, and then to your child's pose. Breathe. In child's pose, let's walk both hands to the right. Really feel that stretch through your left side body. Back through center. And over to the left. Nicely done. Camel pose. Okay, hands can support your back. Like we see your fingers down toward your bottom, chest open. Level one. Breathe. If you want to try to go to full camel, maybe start by warming up your back. I like to touch one foot at a time just to start the warm up. And then when you're ready, hands come down, hop and hip forward, shoulders back. Breathe. Squeeze the booty. Exhale, come up. Moving back through downward facing dog. All right, from down dog, we're going to move into dolphin this way. Lowering the arms. Pushing yourself into plank. Good. Walking your feet back up. Two. Forearm dog. Back up to dog dog. Let your feet so it's forearms down. Walk the feet back. Just noticing how strong you have to be to do this. Walking your feet back in. Push back up. All right, we got three more. Lower. Step back. Squeeze. Walk it back in. Push the heels down, then bring it back up. Two more, you can do this. Lower. Step back. Hold. Breathe. Step forward. Last one, last one. I'm ready for a break, too. <laughs> Lower. Step back, squeeze. Breathe. Step in. Have up. Rest in child's reconnect. That center, that agna with the earth. Take three or four more full deep breaths as you prepare to move along in your practice. Good. Okay, we're going to roll on our tippy toes. And my feet are a little bit farther apart than I originally brought in, but that's okay. Try to balance here in tippy toes pose. Just noticing. So our chest is nice and tall. And then bring yourself to standing. 
Exhale, sound of sticky heat, pose the stillness. Let's start our sun salutations. Inhale, stretch and reach, little arch back. Exhale, lead the heart into the hips, forward fold. Half lift to lengthen. Forward fold to go deeper, step back right. Step back left. Beautiful. All right, crocodile or chakadarga. I'll start with crocodile. Knees. Just scoot yourself forward into the cobra. Maybe you're an up dog, whatever you're at. Notice the back bend. Tuck your toes under, down dog, lengthen. Walk your feet to the hands. Slowly roll up. One vertebrae at a time. And shoulders back. Three times. Beautiful. And now stretch and reach the lengthen. Exhale, swan back, forward fold. Half lift to lengthen, forward fold. You want to deeper. Step back, left leg. Pause if you want to. I like that. Step back to plank. So we're trying to plank. Nobody can break you. Chop it out. Just, I did crocodile. You can do chop it out. Beautiful. Push your shoulders back. Tuck your toes under down. I will lengthen. Stay here for a few breaths. I'm going to try to push that tailbone back. Mm. Let your back become expansive. Create room. Walk your feet to your hands. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly roll up. One more breath. Beautiful. Let's add on. And now stretch and reach. Exhale. Side stretch to the right. Exhale. Up. Side stretch to the left. And now up. Forward roll. Half lift to lengthen. Forward fold. Go deeper. Step that right. Low lunge down, knee down, on chest down, lift up. This time we're going to take the right elbow to the left thigh and do a rotational twist here. Breathe. Exhale, hands come down, move the plank. From here, gaze pose. So dropping the right knee. And turning yourself to the left. Gate. Let's play and gate a little bit. Take the hand out past the head. Lengthen. Oh, reach. Coming back to play. Super strong. Okay, crocodile or chaturanga. Breathe. When you're ready. Move yourself forward into your back bend. Tuck your toes under, down, back, lengthen. Take your time here. Walk your feet forward. Two breaths and four full. Reverse swan dive up, arms go out like airplanes. Inhale, up. Two, two, we're going to go to the left first. Left side stretch. Exhale, up. Over to the right. Really feel that side body start to wake up. That's good. It's early in the morning for me right now. <laughs> uh, lead your heart right to your swan dive. So lengthen, forward hold, go deeper. Step that left leg. Little pulses of that feels good too. I always love that. Step that right leg. Okay. Beautiful. So we're going to lower the left knee. We're going to come up into gate. Opening the hip, opening the chest. Exhale like that. Right hand come out past your head. Feel the difference in the hip. Just notice 
how it feels a little different. Exhale, back to plank. Super strong in plank, nobody can break you. Inhale, exhale, lower flow. So Chaturanga or Crocodile, holding your Chaturanga as long as you can, rocking it forward when you're ready. And you're back on your Cobra, your Up Dog. Tuck your toes under down dog. Lengthen, breathe, push the hips back. Notice. Walk your feet to your hands. Inhale. Exhale, reverse line back. Coming into pose is still a sassy Breathe and reconnect with your breath. How are you feeling? Are you starting to wake up? Are you starting to let go? Fear, anxiety, worry. Can you feel your body pulsating? See the poses so far that we've been doing. Inhale, like the touch and reach. Exhale, sweep into our chair pose. Breathe. We've got one more sun salad modifications with add ons, and then we'll move on to something else. Exhale, forward fold. Half lift and lengthen. Forward fold, go deeper. Step back, right leg. Here we're going to go to a revolved side angle. So I'm going to keep my right hand on the floor and I'm going to turn my body to the left knee. I'm going to try to push the back leg straight even more. Breathe. Okay, from here you're going to either move to gait, like we did before, knee down, or pop yourself right back to your side plank. Breathe and hold. Notice. Exhale, hand comes down. Ready? Chakadaka or uh, Krakadaka, go ahead. Exhale, into down. Okay, we've got three-legged dog. We did some of this in the beginning. We're going to add it on here. We're going to bring the knee in between the hands and we're going to kick it back out and bring it to the opposite elbow and kick it back out. So that was a demonstration we have four, ready? It's in, back, side, back. That's one side, keep going. You can be on your knee if you need to be. Breathe. You're going to find what works for you. If it's, this is too many sets, Rest in child until you're ready. Breathe. Downward facing dog. Walk your feet to your hands. Now forward fold. Inhale, exhale. Sleep to chair, prepare for the other side. Just breathe, just notice. Exhale, forward fold. Half up to lengthen. Forward fold to go deeper. Step back. Left foot, you're in plank. You're in low well left. Okay, knee can come down to get ready for gates or, well, actually, we gotta do this first, right? The ball into the side angle. Breathe. Push that back leg even sooner. Now prepare for either gate lowering down or side plank. Breathe. Push the hips up. Don't let them sag down. Exhale, regular plank. All right, check it out. Here we go. Woo. Rock up for it. Tuck your toes under down. Lengthen. Okay. Three legged dog, left leg is high in the air. Demonstration is pull the knee in between the hands, kick it back, pull the knee on the outside of the right elbow, kick it back. Here we go, forward one. Do your thing. Do as many as you feel comfortable with. And if it's not for today, 
Not a problem. We're working our way up and we're building our own strength as we go. And one more. And now we're facing dog. Walk your feet to your hands. Or Hands on the hips, flat back. Squeeze your abs and your tighten your core. You can go for the flat back. Beautiful mountain pose. Tadasana. Ta -da. So just use your feet to ground you. Open your chest. Open your heart. Let yourself be expansive. Feel your strength. Reconnect. Breathe. Check on your posture here. It's a good place to make sure that you're not slouching or pulling your belly forward. So it's a really good place because you're not doing much except for checking in with your posture. You're working, but you're working in a more isometric, subtle fashion. Exhale. Let's soften our knees and we'll out straight. Let's go allow our torso to twist side to side. I like to pick up my uh, heels and pivot on my foot so I have a knee safety. Um, but you could, you could go less intense with this. But if you are going to go a little bit deeper, you're going to want to protect your knees by picking up your heel and pivoting. Okay, so we had spoken before about four folds being great for changing your perception. Let's start with wide-legged forward fold. So feet are going to face forward in this one. We're going to use our core strength to straighten our back. Inhale, leading with the heart, hinge to get the hips. So we're going to go halfway. I'm just going to go out to the side, breathe. So you're looking at something where you're not as comfortable here. Exhale, surrender into the pose. Breathe. Notice how your back kind of starts to round at the top. Inhale. Exhale, can you draw yourself in a little more? If you are prone to hyperextending your knees like I am, you might want to put a slight bend here. Just noticing, maybe open your eyes and look at how the world looks from this point of view. Upside down and backwards. <laughs> Breathe. Exhale, straighten the legs. Just put the back halfway flat and come all the way up. Good job. Let's try one more. Why did I get four fold? Prasavitapada Tanasana. That's a hard one. <laughs> all right. I'm still working on my Sanskrit. It's all good. Inhale, stretch and reach. Exhale, over to the right. We're going to do some circles here. So we're going to turn our body down, around, and back up. Inhale. Exhale, back up. Good. Two more. One more. As you come up, side stretch up. Mm. And then we're going to turn this into circles. So we'll turn, come down, around, and up. Use your core body to stabilize you. Feel your abs working here, actually. Two more. Squeeze. Your lower back is engaged. Your legs. Good job. Come up. This time we're going to do that with our hands in different positions. So we're going to lower down halfway. Surrender in the pose. Interlace your fingers. Pull your hands to the ceiling, if you can. If this is difficult and you can't interlace your fingers, but you still want to get this same um, workout with your shoulders, maybe you can grab like a tie, bring it behind your belt and, and practice that way. So whatever works for you, breathe. 
Notice. Breathe. <laughs> Keep breathing. Come up, nice job. Shake that out, shake wrist out. So you come together, step back, right, warrior one. Nice deep lunge. Good from here to that revolved angle. From here to that side plank or that eight. Breathe. Regular plank. Super strong. Lower into the forearm plank. Back to regular plank. Downward facing dog. Right leg high in the air, three legged dog. Exhale, bring the foot in between the hands. Come up into that crescent lunge. Heel is off the floor. Breathe and notice. Exhale, tree pose. Woo. Putting your placing. Good job. Ooh. Like the today. So maybe it like that, right? It's a practice. We just have to accept whatever our bodies are doing that day. And don't give up on your practice. So when you have an attitude of gratitude for your body, exhale, and a sense of humor, it makes your young a lot more enjoyable. Trust me, I'm a hot mess most of the time. Okay, <clears throat> step back left. Warrior one. Breathe. Notice, feel your power, feel your strength. Ooh. Exhale into that revolved angle, looking at the world another way. Remember, that helps our creativity. When we are open and willing to see things differently, it helps our wisdom because we become we become wise to more things. We have more opportunities to learn from. Exhale. Side plank or gate. Breathe. Regular plank. Breathe. Lowering down. Forearm plank. Push your shoulders away from the ears. Pull. Notice. Breathe. Exhale, regular plank. Whew. Rock yourself back to down dog, lengthen. Push behind your back. Left leg high in the air. Step it through. Sweeping into that crescent lunge. Nice deep lunge here. Just breathing. Exhale, use your core muscles to help you come up. Tree pose. Whew. Nice spine. Hands, whoever feels comfortable. Exhale, sound is to heat. Let's do another flow or two, and then we'll start to bring it down. Set that great leg for your work. Hands go in. Open or to focus. Okay, we're going to be moving into chicken asana or triangle pose. All right, so from here, we're going to straighten the leg. We're going to move our shoulder forward. Bring ourselves down. Triangle pose. Exhale, pyramid. That right hand comes down to the floor, squaring your hips back up. Bend that front leg softly. Let's glide ourselves into three point balance. You can stay here, or if you're ready, you can try half moon with the right hand coming up to the ceiling, and you're also trying to reopen the hip and the shoulder. Exhale, hand comes down. Set the feet together, sweep the chair, hold and breathe. Nice job. Good. 
sucks out. So let's see he, he poses still this. Two breaths here, just noticing how you're feeling. Connect with your own intuition. Do what feels right to you in your practice. Exhale, left leg, warrior one. Breathe. Feel your power, let your feet stabilize you. Hands come in. Open, warrior two, focus on your goals. Breathe in. Straightening the legs, using your shoulder to bring yourself forward into that triangle pose. Wherever your hand lands is fine. Don't worry about that. And as you exhale, Left hand comes down to meet the right hand on the floor or on the legs, wherever it is, you're refocusing your hips to go forward. Breathe, straight legs. This is a very intense leg stretch for myself. I'm not that flexible, really. Bend the knees slightly. Moving forward, gliding forward into the three-point belt. So you can stay right here. If you're ready to move on into that half moon, Bringing the left hand up and reopening the hip and that shoulder. Breathe. Notice. Bring the hand down. Set the foot down. Exhale into that chair pose. Shoulders are pushing it back and down. Shoulders are also dropping away from the ears. Feel your strength. Exhale, so I'm a see he Pose of stillness. Nicely done. Let's move on to the floor. So, let's retest. I'm pretty warm. Let's retest our, our uh, seated forward fold. Inhale, stretch and reach. Exhale, forward fold. I was able to go about two inches deeper that time. Let's stay here and surrender into the pose. So on each inhale, think about maybe allowing your body to lengthen in the spine. Exhale, move deeper. We're we'll resting this pose for another five or six slow deep breaths. Coming up. Okay, let's move to boat pose. Boat pose level one, your heels can be down. Rock yourself back, squeeze your abs, reaching forward, but your shoulders are not up, they're pushing down. So this, this is set, this might be enough. <clears throat> level two. I'm um, bringing your legs up and holding underneath. Level three, letting go there, being just right here. And level four, straight legs and breathe. Lowering down, stretch up back to that forward fold. Inhale up, back to boat. Breathe. We got a couple more here. Lower with control, stretch and reach. Forward fold. Coming back up. Boat. Ooh. Good job, good job, and last time. Lower. Stretch for ending with boat because it's challenging and it's good for you. Come up and. Boat, breathe. Woo. Lower with control. Using one vertebra at a time, let's go back into our bridge. So slowly lowering down. One vertebra at a time. Hands come down, feet come to your height. Inhale, exhale, pop the hips up. Squeeze. 
that booty. If you want to interlace your fingers, pull them closer to your feet. Pop your tummy up, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. <sighs> Exhale, lower down. Legs up the wall. Inhale here, or stay here, or exhale. Two, shoulder stand. Inhale, exhale, pop them up. If you're going there, breathe. <sighs> exhale, rock down into boat. Beautiful. Lower. Roll down. Bridge pose. Inhale, exhale up. Interlace the fingers. Pull them hands down if you want. Let's bring the knees together here just to notice the difference. Kick your heels out a little bit. Squeeze. Feel the difference in your hip and your lower abs. Exhale, replace your feet. Pop your hips back up. Squeeze your booty. Exhale down. Legs up the wall. Staying here or inhale. Exhale. Shoulders in. Support your shoulders in. Breathe. Moving into plow pose if you wish. So levels. You can bend your knees and stay right here. You can have your legs straight and try to go back wherever you can reach or you can go all the way if you're there. Breathe. Relax. Surrender to wherever you're at. Exhale, back up. Bring your knees to your forehead. Roll up. Let's do a couple spinal rolls right here. Just holding over our knees and allowing ourselves to roll. A few times here. This feels really good on my back. Maybe one more. Nice job. Coming into looking at asana butterfly. Oh, shoulders back and down. Let the legs fly away if they want to. Uh, okay. Take your left foot forward. Keep your right foot right here. Inhale up. Stretch. We've done a lot of inversions today, a lot of holds, because that is one of the things that helps get the blood flowing to the brain, which helps stimulate the third eye chakra. And as we come up, we're going to let this knee, right knee go down, and we're going to sweep back. Oh, feels me. Oof. Tummy pushes forward. Exhale, lower. Bring the left leg behind you into a Z position, turning your body toward your torso. Trying to sit really tall here. So it's natural to want to slouch down, but we're purposely trying to use our core strength to create better posture, even if it feels awkward. Exhale, counter twist. Good. Left foot comes out past the knee. And then let's tuck ourselves in here. Breathe. Feeling this stretch right here in the head. Little booty. Exhale, back to that butterfly to repeat on the other side. Again, you can keep your 
back really straight here, which is the most comfortable for me because I'm obviously not very flexible in the hips. You have to know your body, do what feels good. You can start to round down. You can keep a flat back and push yourself forward a little. So play with that, see what feels good. Okay, right foot is gonna come out. We're gonna inhale, straight up. Exhale, forward fold onto that leg. Exhale, this left knee will come down. We're gonna sweep our body up and back. Push your shoulder away from your ear and push your left hand into the floor. Really try to pop the belly forward. Exhale, as you come down, right leg will come behind. And we're gonna first twist toward our torso. Twist the opposite way. Nice toss line. No slouching. Exhale, coming through good. In this part of class, um, before we do the leg stretches to bring you down into your shavasana, this is where we're going to practice our alternate nostril breathing. So you might need some tissues. Okay, there's a couple ways to do it. You have to figure out because some people's hands aren't that big. And, and so your pointer finger and your ring finger can either tap your third eye chakra, slight pressure, or between the eyebrows, depends on how big your hands are. Um, and, or you can curl them under. I usually try to start with my hands here, but they end up usually curling under because I can't really reach very well. Um, your ring finger rests kind of above your upper lip as we do this. You're gonna be using your pinky and your thumb to do this breath. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna inhale, and then we're going to um, take a deep exhale, right? So let's try it again and get prepared because we're going to inhale, and then as we exhale, we're gonna close off the left, left nostril to exhale out the right. Stay here, inhaling through the right. Close off the right with the pinky and exhale out the left. Stay here, inhale through the left. Switch, exhale. Inhale, close, switch and exhale. Inhale, close that one, switch and exhale out the right. Inhale, close, switch, exhale out the left. Inhale. Close, switch, exhale. And stop, now I definitely need tissue. <laughs> okay, let's lower ourselves down and do a few light stretches and then we will move into Shavasana and meditation. <clears throat> okay, so that alternate nostril breathing, remember at the beginning we were talking about how it helps balance the right and left hemispheres that logical and that intuitive and creative. So slowly lowering down, bringing the right knee in, extending the right leg up. Exhale, allow that leg to go over to the right side. Breathe wherever it lands, minus a million inches off the floor. And this what it is. <laughs> No judgment. Exhale up. Switching. Now you can bend the knee if that's more comfortable to pull over, or you can keep it straight and roll. Breathe. Exhale. 
exhale up. Lower the leg down. Inhale, exhale. Grabbing that left knee, pull it in. Exhale, lengthen the leg. And move that leg towards your face. Inhale, exhale, over to the left. Inhale, exhale, up and over to the right. Torso twist, head can look in any direction that feels good to you. Inhale, up, up, exhale, lower. Allow your body to start to melt into the mat, absorbing all the yoga you've done. I will guide you through your meditation from Sikasana, easy feet. Let's take a few deep breaths, refocusing on Padma, the third eye chakra. Imagine it as a beautiful purple lotus sitting right here. Inhale, open the lotus to the light into the air. Exhale, it is your shield from negativity, from falsehoods. Each breath, you can feel your lotus growing bigger as a source of creativity, vision, clarity inspiration. The first chakra, um, rather the first affirmation we will use is I am inspired. I am inspired. I am inspired. So inhaling, I am inspired. Exhaling. Exhaling. I am inspired. Inhaling. Exhaling. I am inspired. Say this now to yourself for a few moments until I redirect your affirmation. Deep breath and refocusing, thinking about that purple lotus in the middle of your forehead, sending all your energy there. Your second affirmation in this meditation I release all illusion. Inhaling, exhaling, I release all illusion. Exhale, I release all illusion. Inhale, 
Inhale, exhale, refocus, sending energy back through your Agna, your eye chakra. Last affirmation for today. I have strong intuition. Inhale, exhale. I have strong intuition. Inhale. Exhale. I have strong intuition. Continue for a few moments. Repeat this affirmation to yourself. each other and away. Slowly towards each other like little windshield wipers and away. A couple more times, waking up that lower body, squeezing your abs. And exhale, relax it. Let's bring our attention to our chest. Squeeze your chest like by pulling in your arms to your underarms. Tightening your pectorals, tightening your side body, tightening your back. Exhale, release. When you're ready, slowly make your way to your side. Resting there as long as you need to. Really just being grateful for the opportunity to practice your yoga today, to learn and grow on your mat every day. And don't forget to take anything that you've learned about yourself here into that wider world. The love, the compassion, the strength, the intuition. When you're ready, sit back to Sukhasana. Hands together. Let's close our class. May I know my truth. May I see my truth. May I see my truth. May I feel my truth. Namaste. Thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to our next class together.